Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. This is Adon, also known as the Afro Sin. Today we're reading for the collective. Hey collective, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell to book a private reading with me or shop in my store. All that information is in the description box below. Listen, we are in Mercury retrograde and I just made a video about you're about to save a life. Okay? Damn, and that was a good, a good, um, reading but maybe spirit doesn't doesn't want you guys to hear that part i don't know but i'm keeping it up there i'm not changing it anywho so we're going down karmic world <laughs> and they want you to shut up you're talking too much your truth is blind blinding them it's deafening them they can't handle it they cannot handle your truth because your truth exposed their lies so they're wanting to come towards you with some form of a proposition here Here's the kicker. The proposition is they took your inheritance. They took your money, your family, adopted family, guardian, however the case may be. They gave them information. They were able to um, finagle with uh, false identification, all that shit. And they were able to get into your inheritance here. Okay. You will receive your inheritance. All right. So don't worry about that. But they want you to shut up. They want you to be quiet because you know what's going on here. Um, they don't know what else to do. They don't know how else they can stop you from talking here because by you talking is making them look really, you know, really fucking crazy. Make them look like the liar that they are. So they need for you to stop speaking. So they're wanting to come towards you to give you some form of a big gift, money, bribery. But the big gift, money, or bribery is coming from the money that they took or stole from you. <sighs> Not only are they, they, they have stolen goods, your stolen stuff, okay? Stuff that belongs to you. They're trying to finagle you with your stuff. So they're basically trying to pay you to stay quiet. <laughs> I, I don't get it. I, I truly don't get it. I truly don't get it with these these people. I don't. All right, we have a, a, a picture, or um, this is a crab. Sorry, you guys can't see, but it's an actual crab. So you could be dealing with a cancer here, okay? These are the words that are here. Okay. Make sure, okay, that's the one. Just gotta make sure. All right, so let's see. Yeah, you're too raw. <laughs> Your mouth is too raw. <laughs> it's too raw. Your mouth is like a, a a high tide surf, right? It's nothing to be. It's nothing to play with. You know them high tides, them surf. So the surf is like the surf down, and it could make or break you because those those tides or waves are so strong. That's you. You'll clap back is strong your surf <laughs> the way you you're versatile the way you speak your rawness is is yeah it's it's dope <laughs> but it's too raw for some or i'll say it's too raw for the ones that live in lies can't handle your rawness here so this dumbass is trying to come back in they're trying to fiddle or finagle you with your money by trying to keep you quiet or keep you hush here. They feel like um, by doing this, not only is this going to harm your case in regards to what they're trying to do, because they don't want you to press charges on them. <laughs> so let me get this straight. They stole from you. They took shit that don't belong to you because of your guardian, right? You're trying to get the assistance and help from others. Nobody not listening. You finally, finally get in individual individuals to listen to you. Now they upset because they should expose. Child, fucking please. Please. Okay. All right, it's the one. Police. <laughs> You're not making sense <laughs> at all, boo. 
Yeah, they in regret now. You hear that train? Hong, hong. Yeah, they in regret. They definitely afraid of this shit coming out. I mean, it's out, but they, they're like, man, I'll do anything to stop this. No, uh-uh. Get a collective back day stuff. Why you taking shit that don't belong to you in the fucking first place? You fucking bandit, you sticky finger bitch. Get a collective day stuff. Find clarity in goals and choices. Have faith things will get better. New growth in areas of your life. This you, Collective. <laughs> That's you. They trying to come back in and keep you quiet by giving you money. Stolen money, child. What kind of shit is that? Huh? Your money. Your money. Your money. They trying to come back in and pay you off to keep you quiet with your money. <laughs> Y'all not playing with me, right? <laughs> you not playing like that, right? Y'all not that damn dumb and stupid, right? <laughs> Listen. Snuffed candle deadlines. Running out of time. Stop wasting time. Procrastination. End of a life phase. Because this person thought they always had time. Like they always had time to play you. Or oh, they feel like they would have never run out of time to continuously play you. Like, why did you even think you played the collective in the first place? You the only one out here getting played, karmic. <laughs> You're not making sense. Like, they would, they feel like their sole job was to keep you man, in a standstill here. Realize that didn't work. Man, this shit, they getting caught up. But something that don't fucking belong to them. Yo shit, collective. Yo stuff. <laughs> and now they scared. They trying to pay you off to stay quiet with yo shit. <laughs> yo, I can't make this out. Like, this shit is weird. Message of concern. It don't make no damn sense. <laughs> Just the Lord, all right. <laughs> don't make no damn sense. you they scared because they stole from you know that you are aware that they stole from you and now they trying to pay you with your money to stay quiet man you don't get your stupid ass to fuck out of here. <laughs> man when i say world's dumbest criminals man i meant that this is a dumbass criminal, bro. You dumb as shit. You are dumb. You are dumb. I swear. Message. Oh, man. They are so shook that they are caught red-handed. They are caught red and they are shook. How the fuck do you know this? Don't worry about that. I'm telling you, caution. Seven of Swords. Caught red handed. How you know? Don't worry about all that. Why you doing what you doing? Huh? That's the question I need to answer. Why you doing what you doing? Don't worry about how we know what we know. Why you doing what you doing? That's the question. Huh? You with sticky fingers. All you do is steal. That's all you do. I'm, t <laughs> I'm telling you, five of cups, ten of cups. All this person do is break up homes, families. This, 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 yeah. Son, this a nigga. A low vibrational man doing his dumb shit. Please. Mm. Tower, you ain't got no choices. All them choices you did have were illusions, boo, that you created, karmic. Not in this day, regret. Trying to pay you off with your money that they stole from you. 
and they thought by having sex with you, oh my God, woe is me, oh my God, wow, wowzers. They wanted you to be like, wowzers, bitch, please. <laughs> Return the collective, they stuff. Where the collective stuff at, karmic? Return that, boo. Fucking thief. You take money, you take booty too, bitch. Get a collector they stuff back. I was watching somebody showed me. <laughs> I was watching the boondocks. Somebody showed me. And this is guy named Flea something, right? And I'm not no TV watcher. I don't watch TV like that. But I was uh I was uh, suggested to watch the boondocks. I was watching the boondocks and it was this guy talking about so he like booty. I like booty. <laughs> and they fleece fleece something, but it's a real character. Like if you go on YouTube, you can look him up and he having an interview, a whole strong ass interview, talking about how he loved booty. He loved men booty. But he was just so freaking like confident about how he really loved to to yeah, it was crazy. He said he liked this the um the COs booties. He preferred the CO over the inmates. The inmates always gonna meet it, but not the COs. And he be man, I like booty. Like that. <laughs> it was crazy. But anywho. Yeah, so they thought by sleeping with you or having sex with you, they thought that that was going to do something that was going to subdue you or you're going to be like stunned or something, I guess. I don't know, child. Something. They thought they got the, they think they have the magic stick. You know, you got to let people think what they want to think, I guess, or I don't know. <laughs> All right, so we have. <clears throat> Yeah, so we have the Hierophant. Yeah, this is something that they traditionally do, not just with you, with other people as well, too. Okay, we have the Ten of Wands and we have the Fool here as well, too. This person is completely burdened by you, by the choices that you made in regards to them here. They thought you were gullible. <laughs> I don't know why they think that, but... <laughs> Oh, I think you're gullible. Mm. Okay. Whatever you say, buddy. <laughs> Whatever you say. <laughs> I just keep hearing, they're dumb. Uh, okay. <laughs> but if they're dumb, right? Karmic. Why would you steal something from the collective? Now your shit out in the open and you're trying to come back to the collective but bribe the collective with the money that you stole from the collective. But yeah, you're calling the collective dumb. Hmm, how does that work? How does that work? Tell us. Go ahead. How does that work? <laughs> Three of swords. They in trauma. They in grief. They have no call and they ignore. They don't, they they have, they don't reflect on nothing here at all. Y'all hear that collective? They want you to shut the fuck up. And they're willing to pay you your money to shut the fuck up as a bribe. Don't take that shit. Don't take that as no fucking bribe. Some go to the authorities, turn themselves in, go through the proper channels. Don't take not a, a nothing. Go through the proper channels. Because if you take anything, and I know it's yours, but if you take anything, you're going to fuck your shit up. They don't know, or they think that you may not know. But you know, you know, I don't know why they keep playing this player game. Clearly, they don't know how to play this game. But even though they don't, even though 
All right, I won't say that. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. We have fantasy chicken and peacock. <laughs> Somebody is scared. <laughs> they are afraid because there's no changes. Um no negative changes are coming towards you. Told you family was in it. Family gave you information, soldier information to this person here. Spirit is saying the reason why family did that is because they know that this person is willing to do anything for money, for clout, and they know that they would take the fall. So not only this person fucked themselves in the front side, they fucked themselves in the back side and side by side. They fucked themselves all over. <clears throat> Told you. That family member knew that. Knew that they were willing to do anything and they did not want to take the fall. The family member didn't want to take the fall. For this, they didn't want to be the sole responsible, the sole person responsible for your inheritance here, but they are because they gave the information to this ex and not to you. Give the information to the collective. Why are you passed around the information to to any and everyone besides the collective? Give the information to the collective so the collective can do what they need to do. So. I don't know why this family member thought that they weren't going to get caught. Your ass going to get fucking caught as well, too. You gave the information away. Why would you not think you would not get caught? Y'all really are not smart at all. You're not smart. Like, say that you are. You ain't smart. Because that's not a smart move to do. Yep, this family member wanted you to be in balance, and of course they wanted this ex too. This ex was just money hungry here. Now that they have no future, everyone involved is going down. So I don't know why this family member think that they're not going down. Bitch, you gave the information away. Like, you're going down too. Hello. All right, still on. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to stop right there. <laughs> we have Libra in the eighth house in Mars. <laughs> we have North or South Node, Capricorn, twelfth house. We got Virgo in the twelfth house in North Node. Leo. Pisces, Leo, Leo, Aquarius, Cancer, two more, Virgo, one more, Leo, a whole lot of Leo, I guess they feel real confident that this was going to work, because damn, that's a lot of Leo, well, if that resonates, please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Till next time. <laughs>